before this video starts, I just want to say that I am very sorry if I haven't been uploading because there are plenty of assignments that needs to be done very very shortly, but here it is. This is, a, I believe, is might just be the smallest possible 4x4 spiral vault door. And it opens like this and closes like this. You can see right here it's only too wide, it's 10 long and 10 high, making it 200 blocks and it's 40 blocks smaller than the one that I have created like so far behind somewhere over there. And because um, you can power this piston immediately and then if it was if it was one wide, one high in the bottom, you can power this next piston. But you can't power this middle one, but you can power this one. That means that, yeah, this has led that this is the smallest possible and I have already created a tutorial for this. And make sure to watch the entire video because there are some fixes that needs to be fixed. Uh, especially if you're playing in 1.15. So, yeah, let's just get into the tutorial. You need um, just normal 4x4 frame. And then to the bottom, you want to have 4 rows of pistons. And this door is 1.11 um, up. So if you're playing in earlier versions before 1.13, um, you should be able to make this up. We don't have that. So 4 down, 2 on the side, and then also um, 4 on the top. And then same on the side as well. So you want to have 2 like this. And then over here, you want to have your double piston extender like this. And then just fill this to block, I guess. Like this. And then same thing on this side, you want to have your double piston extender to grab the middle blocks. Like this. So once you got already your layout finished, just come to this right side corner here. Place a dropper next to this piston. Next, place another dropper facing back into this dropper. Fill this with a full um, anything, just put any item, just just need to be fully 9 like this, and then the um, the other dropper just needs to be different and like this. So that will just silence the dropper, so you can see right here, there are no dropper clicks. And then we're going to power this next piston from over here. And then down below here, we're going to place another dropper facing up right here, facing into this dropper. And then again, this is wool, so different item over here. So again, there are no dropper clicks, and then you want to have two observers running into here. Oh no, this has to be another dropper right here. Into another furnace right here. Now it's a furnace. Place any item that is not a fuel. Don't put a wool here, and then just instead put the wool in the top slot right there. So that should be our three. And then finally over here, you just want to have um, two dust like this. And that should be or your bottom pistons done. And great, and then next up we just need to be like this. Go up and then I wanna just click a rail or a hopper. Um, um, two observer facing up, block, piston, piston. This piston is going to update that. And then you wanna have observer here, block, and then a, another rail right here. And then three observers like this. And then next up what you're gonna do is that you wanna have this piston is part from over here. That means that we need a block right there. Um, yeah, we need to place a rail on top of this observer, so that might be a little bit annoying, but yeah, like that. So um, whatever you do, you just need to replace that and then place a block here for the last piston. We're going to make it down from over here. Um, observer here, piston. Um, I forgot to place the repeaters. So let me just grab. Here, repeater, 40 here, 40 here, and then finally just two observers into here. That should be all your singles done. Just like that. Now that you already have your singles done right here. Now let's move to the double piston extender. Um, so we want to come from this observer, place two more, and then we need a lamp right here, and then we need a dust over here. One more observer into a block, block here, and then dust, and two observers like this, and another dust. So before moving to the double piston extender in the left side here, you, I mean, the first thing you want to do is say you want to delete this piston, change the orientation of this observer facing up, and then place a block and then a redstone dust over here. And just replace that right there so it doesn't do that. And um, I'll, I'll explain it later. So you want to come from this observer, two more, 
observer lamp observer block dust two observers like this and then your final alert is right here so this should be working and the reason why is that if you're playing if you're somehow playing in 1.15 this would actually break because there is a redirection bud so if you have redstone dust running into up as a slab this dust actually will still power this piston which will make this a clock and break so yeah use this thing instead with this configuration because it will assure that it works from 1.11 until 1.17 so thank you so much for joining don't forget to like comment subscribe and then see you guys next episode bye